Are we ready? Yes, go. Hey, what's up everyone? Ladybird here and I am feeling guilty as, guilty as what? Guilty as a traveler. If you haven't been living under a rock, you'll know that our planet is in big trouble. What you might not know is that the travel industry is the second biggest industry in the world and it affects our ecosystem worldwide. From the carbon emissions of your plane that takes you from point A to point B to the sunscreen that you wear at the beach, tourists have some of the biggest impact on our planet. I know that in the past I have been guilty of leaving my morals on the side if it means that I can get that amazing picture or have that once in a lifetime experience. So being that I am a big proponent of change coming from within, I thought I I would share a few of my tips of being a more eco-friendly traveler. Let's start small. How about your sunscreen? It may seem weird that such a common product like sunscreen can have such a huge effect on our environment. Where do you usually wear sunscreen? At the beach. What do you do at the beach? Typically you go swimming. Where do all of those extra layers of sunscreen go? Directly into the water. Unfortunately the sunscreen companies weren't that smart and didn't take this factor into consideration. Why would they if they're making money? Chemicals that are usually found in sunscreen wash off into the ocean and are hugely responsible for the diminishment of the coral reefs around the world. The changes in our ocean environment have become drastic. Changes may not be easy to detect in your local environment but take a look at the Great Barrier Reef you'll see that the entirety of it is diminishing at a rate that would be improbable without the influence of human waste like sunscreen. So I suggest to get yourself an all-natural sunscreen. It is 100% mineral active, it has no harsh chemicals, it is made out of biodegradable ingredients instead of chemical ingredients that rest in the ocean like an oil slick. Another tip to become an eco-friendly traveler is to do some research on where you plan to stay. Nowadays there are some really cool eco-friendly hostels around the world. Take pods back Packers in Malaysia. Pods strives to be as eco-friendly as possible while still providing a wonderful and cozy environment for your stay. I actually had the pleasure of working at Pods Backpackers in Kuala Lumpur. At that location they have a cafe attached. We would actually save the orange peels from a dessert that we made and we would give out free orange water for anyone that was thirsty. So how are you going to get from point A to point B? I think this one is a no-brainer for most people but if you need a little reminder trains and buses are a lot more eco-friendly than personalized vehicles or planes. Getting back to personal use, let's talk about skincare. Just like sunscreen, just like makeup, this stuff. When you use skincare products, after they go down to the drain, they go right back into the system. So if you're using exfoliating products with microbeads, all of that plastic is in fact going back into the ocean where it will accumulate for years or be consumed by marine life. A wonderful alternative to expensive chemical exfoliants is sugar and coconut oil. I've already explained to you why I love coconut oil. <laughs> But let me remind you that coconut oil is great for all types of skin. Paired with sugar, you have yourself the perfect exfoliant. And because coconut oil and sugar are both water soluble and natural, when you are finished washing your face, you are left with silky smooth skin and no harmful waste goes back into the environment. So these are just a few ways that you yourself right now in this moment can start becoming a more eco-friendly traveler. Throughout your time traveling, please remember the bigger picture. Where you are going, it is likely that the locals are bending over backwards to serve the tourist industry. Which means that if they can capture and drug a wild animal to attract selfie hungry tourists, they will. Wherever you go and whatever you do, the biggest impact that you can have on your environment is where you put your money. Luckily, it is not just travelers who are recognizing the dangers of the tourist industry. Wherever you are, I'm sure that you can find a more eco-friendly option. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of conviction to do so. This is my call to action for all of us. We are all citizens of this planet and I think it is our duty to do better. And just like I said in the beginning of the video, the way to do that starts with your as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have more ideas, I would love to hear them. I'm seriously always looking for ways to have a less dramatic effect on environmental change. So if you have some ideas, please let me know below. And if you're on board to become an eco-friendly traveler, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you next Thursday for more tried and true tips and stories from my adventures living on a wing and a prayer.